Now, the ABC 3340 Sports Desk with Johnny Cogden. Playing in the NFL is to win. So <laughs> to come in and be on a winning team, uh, it's obviously a good feeling. A great feeling if you find yourself a Buffalo Bills fan as former Alabama wide receiver Amari Cooper officially has a new home. The former Crimson Tide great was introduced this afternoon in western New York as the former Cleveland Brown now finds himself a Buffalo Bill and is Josh Allen's new best friend as the Bills look to win their first Super Bowl in franchise history. The third Saturday in October. If you're an Alabama fan or Tennessee fan, you know it well. For the better part of the last two decades, the Crimson Tide have dominated this rivalry. But the last time these two teams met up in Rocky Top, the Vols had the party of a lifetime. As for this upcoming weekend, Tennessee head coach Josh Heupel knows Saturday will be another war. Talented, as everybody knows. Um, ability to make uh, explosive plays on the offensive side of the football uh, starts with their quarterback. Uh, him being a part of the run game and then playmakers out on the, the outside and, and defensively. Um, you know, personnel-wise, they look like uh, they always do. Um, big and strong up front and second level can run and, and third levels uh, extremely athletic. So, uh, huge test for us. Now, the last time we saw the Auburn Tigers on the football field, they lost to the rival Georgia Bulldogs in Athens by a final score of 31-13. to the orange and blue currently sit at two and four in the season as they come out of their bye week. As for what fans should expect in the second half of the season, well, quarterback Peyton Thorne went on the next round today for his weekly appearance and says, well, it's time to press the reset button. You know, it is a little bit of a reset, obviously, with the bye week. Um, get ready to go in the second half of the season. But I I'll just keep preaching what I've been saying for weeks now. You know, I you keep watching all these games, especially in this conference, and it's anybody can win any week. You know, it keeps showing up that all these games are close. They're going down to the wire, and it, it feels like you're watching an NFL-style game because there are almost all games in the fourth quarter. So um, it's really about who plays better on that Saturday. No beating around the bush. It's been a brutal year for Trent Dilfer and his UAB Blazers. The green and gold went up the Hudson this past week and got thumped by Army 44-10 to to fall to 1-5 on the year with their only victory this season coming against FCS Alcorn State. As for what needs to change, well, Dilfer isn't exactly sure, but he and his staff know, well, they're open to anything to get this train back on the tracks. We're willing to change any way we need to change to help our players be more successful on Saturday. And that's really what this comes down to is um, taking all agendas aside, like our job, as I've defined it in this building, is to help them reach their potential on and off the football field. Um, we're seeing growth off the field, um, but we're not seeing that growth on the field. Yesterday was for the men. Wednesday was for the women at SEC Media Days in Birmingham, where the Alabama Crimson Tide enter the season ranked number 24 in the country. And all Alabama returns its top four scores from a year ago and eight total letter winners. And the Tide is ready to roll. The relationships within our program, the kind of young ladies that we have, I think it's very vivid why we are where we're at. It's a program on the rise. We've got a lot of newcomers that are, that are really going to impact us this year. Um, and I'm just excited of how, how hard we work because we really get in the gym. Um, everyone's in on their own, even when it's not required. Um, and, and we all love each other. In a final of the National League Championship Series, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the New York Mets 8 to nothing. They take a 2-1 to lead in the NLCS. That's a look at sports. Don't go anywhere. James will have a final look at your forecast when we come back.